Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of your women. Welcome back. Join me while I break down another movie's plot. Enjoy the memories and watch out for spoilers. During the days of high adventure, the Sumerian blacksmith Nile forged a master sword and showed it off to his son Conan. The father teaches his son about their god Krom, the only one of the gods who lives within the earth instead of above. The story tells that after the god was betrayed by giants his weapons were left on the battlefield, thus man discovered steel. Conan is told that he must learn the riddle of the sword if he is to enter Valhalla, and that nothing on this earth can be trusted but the blade. One cold winter during the High Borean Age, their village is set upon by an army bearing a standard of a serpent. The worshippers of the snake god Set, savagely slaughter the descendants of the Atlanteans. Despite not being a soldier, Nile manages to slay several of the riders until eventually being caught in the back with an axe and finished off by dogs of war. After all the adults are exterminated and only Conan's mother remains, Maeve protects her son while approached by two lieutenants Rexer and Thorgrim. Rexer gives Nile's sword to the leader of the army Thulsa Doom, who approaches Maeve with his pretty hair and hypnotizes her to lower her weapon. He does the old classic look away, then spins around beheading her in front of Conan. The army enslave the children and take them north while their village burns, then sells them to a tribe called the Vonir at an outdoor grain mill. The younglings are attached to the wheel of pain and made to push it until they break. As the years pass by, only one child remains 20 years later, Conan. After all the time of intense labor Conan has become a hulking beast of a man and is purchased by a new master requiring fighters. Conan is thrown into a pit and gets attacked by a biter, but he easily beats him down with his strength. He quickly learns to fight with a variety of weapons and becomes the people's champion, realizing his worth and winning his master plentiful riches. When the meaning of a man's life now means nothing to Conan, he is taken to the Far East to complete his training. Despite being educated in philosophy and the distractions of being bred with the finest of stock, Conan never forgets his father's teachings. One night after drinking too much, Conan's master decides to free him, though no one knows why. While being chased by wolves across the countryside, the free man climbs onto a pile of rocks for safety but it collapses underneath him, discovering it to be the ancient tomb of an Atlantean king. Conan takes the corpse's sword and the fellow worshipper of Krom tilts his head to him. The now armed Sumerian uses his sword to break the shackles and the wolves run away. He travels the land until coming across a mystical woman who seduces him into her hut with the promise of warmth. The strange woman tells him the prophecy of a conqueror who will rid the world of snakes. When Conan hears this, he describes to her the standard of his parents' killers and asks for their location, but she demands payment. During the transaction, she tells him that the ones he seeks are in the land of Zamora, then shape shifts into a demon and begins to get a little aggressive. Conan hurls her into the fireplace but she turns into a fireball and escapes into the woods. In the morning he finds a Hyrcanian thief chained up behind the hut named Subotai. The woman had been starving him and he agrees to fight with Conan on his adventure. Subotai says he worships the four winds which Conan scoffs at, despite saying that Krom rarely answers his prayers. The two travel from town to town while Conan learns from his new friend how to steal, eventually coming across an old man with information. He tells them that just a few years ago a small cult showed up and built a snake shrine in town, now they have spread to every city around murdering people in the night. Conan doesn't know if the cult is the one he seeks, but decides to raid their temple anyway as it is rumored to contain a great treasure called the Eye of the Serpent. After knocking out a camel with a single punch, Conan comes across another companion named Valeria. A thief with the same idea as them, they join forces and scale the massive tower. Once inside the temple, Valeria searches the upper level while Conan and Subotai continue down into a pit below. The boys find the giant ruby at the bottom of a pit and successfully nick it without waking its sleeping protector. While leaving the pit Conan notices Doom's symbol and realizes they are who he seeks, giving the snake time to wake up. Conan stabs it in the head while Subotai fills it with arrows, eventually bringing it down before it constricts Conan. Undisturbed on the upper level the cultists are attending a sacrifice held by Rexer. As the ceremony reaches its climax the follower throws herself into the pit to be fed to their snake god, but finds it wiggling around headless as the two thieves escape, swiftly being joined by Valeria who kills a guard on her way out. Over the next few days the three celebrate with their winnings while Conan and Valeria begin to fall in love. They indulge in all manner of pleasures and the success takes them off their guard, getting them captured one night by the local king. They are taken to King Osric the Usurper, a Northman like Conan he applauds them for standing up to the snake cult that has corrupted his land. He hires them with fistfuls of rubies to rescue his daughter, who has been seduced by the cult and is currently traveling to a place called the Mountain of Power. That night, Valeria wants to forego rescuing the king's daughter as they already have more money than they need, and she doesn't want to risk what happiness they've already found. 
So in the morning Valeria wakes to find Conan gone, traveling alone to find Doom not just to rescue the king's daughter but also to avenge his parents and people. On his travels, Conan uses a medallion stolen from the temple to gain directions from a group called the Children of Doom. Before he arrives, he comes to a sacred ground covered in standing stones attended by an old wizard named Akiro. Despite the crazy man's initial threats, the two quickly become friends and in time Conan becomes his mentor. In the morning Conan finds some of Doom's followers at the foot of the mountain, and mugs one for his priestly robes. Disguised as a cultist he sneaks his way up the massive staircase leading to an entrance in the side of the mountain. Doom exits the temple of Set and Conan uses the medallion to get him as close to his target as possible. The king's daughter Yasmina exits the temple looking possessed and sporting snakes, as Thorgrim and Rexer recognize the medallion and seize Conan. They beat him to a pulp as the great snake that he killed was a pet Thorgrim had raised since birth, then drag him before Doom for punishment. When hearing why Conan seeks revenge on him, Doom explains that he raided his village simply to take their weapons and armor, claiming that steel meant more to him than even diamonds did at that time. He shows Conan just how beyond the need for steel he is, when he tells one of his followers to jump to her death and she does. That is power. Conan is then crucified to the Tree of Woe and left for the buzzards to feast at, which he bites the neck out of one when it approaches. After a few days drying up under the scorching sun he is finally found by Subotai, who takes him with Valeria to the wizard to be healed. Akiro paints Conan's face with an ancient language and ties him to the ground. As night comes, the spirits of the underworld try to take Conan's soul back with them but the ropes and Valeria struggle against them. The companions successfully fight the spirits off long enough for Conan to pull through and he survives. After a few days of healing passes, the Sumerian is informed from Subotai that the mountain has a honeycomb of caves that they can use to get inside. They come up with the plan to steal the princess and kill Doom another day, but Conan isn't going to settle for anything less than vengeance. The three apply war paint and enter the mountain through a cave in the side, before sneaking past all of the guards. They work their way through to find a marble throne room containing Doom's massive harem. The gangbangs all too distracted eating a stew made from human flesh, not noticing the three sneak around the room and set the place on fire. The trio begin their attack on the guards creating chaos in the throne room, while Yasmina is too out of it to notice Doom transform himself into a giant snake and slither out through a tunnel. Suddenly Rexer and Thorgrim come bursting in and Conan fights the both of them at once, while Valeria and Subotai escape with the princess. During the fight, Thorgrim's large warhammer misses Conan and knocks a pillar down on top of Rexer, giving Conan a chance to catch up with his team while Thor stands there confused. The thieves and princess escape on horses but Doom exits a rear entrance with Rexer and Thorgrim. He turns a snake into a poison arrow and fires it at the group, hitting Valeria before it turns back into a snake. She slowly succumbs to the poison and dies in Conan's arms. They take her body back to the standing stones and Conan burns it in warrior tradition. The next day they tie Yasmina to a boulder and use her as bait to attract Doom. Conan and Subotai prepare booby traps and defenses around the stone while Akiro returns with weapons and armor having raided the dead. Doom's lieutenants are sent to retrieve the princess with a horde of dark riders, while Conan finally prays to his god Krom for help. He asks Krom to remember the day that few face the many, and requests he grant him revenge. As soon as the riders reach them, Conan attacks with his axe while Subotai keeps his distance and kites them with his bow. Despite being outnumbered they defeat most of the troops, while Doom parks up on a hill nearby and watches the battle unfold. Subotai is almost killed by a rider but is saved from behind by Akiro who plunges a spear into his first kill. Thorgrim thinks he gets the drop on Conan but sets off one of their elaborate spike traps and is killed. As Conan watches him die, Rexer attacks him wielding his father's sword and begins to defeat him. Conan is about to be struck with a killing blow when Valeria returns as a Valkyrie and knocks Rexer back. Returned to fulfill the promise that she would fight by his side even after death, she asks Conan if he wants to live forever before disappearing. Conan rises up with new resolve, and shatters his father's sword with the Atlantean one while slicing to pieces Doom's last lieutenant. The defeated cult leader decides to flee and kill Yasmina on his way out, but his snake arrow is blocked at the last second by the light-footed Subotai. Back at the Mountain of Power, Doom conducts a nighttime ceremony for his minions, while Conan infiltrated the temple with the help of Yasmina, now free from Set's hold over her. He sneaks up behind his parents' killer but begins to get hypnotized by the enchanting voice like his mother years before. Doom gives the ill-conceived reason that Conan cannot kill him, or else he has no other reason to live. So the barbarian breaks free from the hypnosis and strikes Doom with the broken hilt of his father's sword. Then finishes him off with it and throws his head down the mountain toward the crowd below. Seeing their leader who they all thought was immortal die the way he did, the cultists all begin to silently leave the temple to find a new deity to worship. Conan sits on the steps contemplating his next move while the princess waits on him. 
He hammer throws a burning oil lamp into the temple and leaves to return Yasmina to her father. And with many more tales to tell including the rise of King Conan, the movie ends. What is steel compared to the hand? So you made it. I appreciate your time. I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks. <laughs>